You're listening to Daventry Radio, connecting your community. On Friday, I was invited to attend the summer fair of the Daintree and Southbrook Learning Village, an academy school and sixth form for pupils aged 3 to 19. I asked the principal of the academy, Simon Cotton, what was the purpose behind the summer fair? Partly to ensure that the friends of DSLV have the opportunity to raise funds for uh, equipment for students and, and those sorts of things. Things that as a school are, you know, we wouldn't necessarily be able to afford, but that the friends of DSLV want to ensure that children get a better experience um, in school in terms of playground equipment or, or those sorts of things. Now, when did this summer fair start? My understanding is the summer fair has been going for a, a couple of years, um, so this is probably the second or third time we've done it. Um, we've, but, it but it's a sort of tradition at DSLV, I think, you know, Christmas fairs, summer fairs, Easter fairs, those sorts of things. I spoke to Zoe Heath, one of the parents of the pupils at the school who helps run the Friends of DSLV. I asked her to go into a bit more detail about the group. We've um, only been running about a year. Started when we did the prom last year for the year sixes going up to year seven, and it's just continued from that really. We've recently just spent um, quite a large amount of money buying them new footballs, goalposts, skipping ropes, lots of like different things for outdoor play in break times. Sylvana Kwai, the assistant vice principal of the academy, told me about a few of the things that were on offer at the fair. We've got bouncy castles, we've got face painting, we've got hook a duck. We've got the barbecue with the bats and the burgers. We've got raffles over there. We've got bracelets being sold, nail painting. We've got Lucky Dip. We've even got human um, slot machine where children go and pay for a raffle ticket, 20p a raffle ticket, and then they have a go at the games. So the games also include some of the welly throwing. We've got penalty shootouts and we've got bottle tombolas. It's always a great win to bottle tombolas because um, people just gravitate to it straight away. The BTEC dancers gave a performance, and I asked Ella Stiles, the dance choreographer of the school, about it. Some of the kids have done the choreography. I just literally just teach them dance. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. How long have they been practising on putting that together? So they started putting that together back in March. So they've been practising since March. Um, and, yeah, showing their performance here today. How did you rate their performance? I would rate their performance a 10 out of 10. They're very good. Could have done with a bit more smiling, but they were very, very good. <laughs> the Pro Action Martial Arts and Fitness Group in Daventry gave a taekwondo demonstration. I asked the leader of the group, Tony Hill, what was the aim behind it? Well, to bring awareness to taekwondo um, to children through the school, promote fitness, not just to children. Every single adult at Pro Action Martial Arts Daventry has joined because of their child. So we're trying to get fitness through the children and into the mums and dads, trying to change the culture, healthy eating and uh, fitness, really. I asked some of the pupils, what did they think about the fair? It's, um, it's a good summer's fair, yeah. Is this the best thing to ever happen at this school? Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. What have you been up to at this fair? Oh, oh we um, bought burgers, we just got yeah. some raffle tickets. Yeah. yeah. One, some great. lemonade. Yeah. What are you enjoying most about it? The amount of people. Could you elaborate on that? You mean the way it's bringing everybody together? Yeah, it's very, um, very nice. It's very nice. And the schools are very... <laughs> they sell very good things. They sell very good things. What do you think? Um, yeah, there's and the like food. really good things around. Have you got nervous, Jade? Lost your voice all of a sudden. Yeah, you're a little horse, are you? A little horse. Very good, very funny. Uh, what do you think of the summer's fair? Um, I think it's really good and it, it brings everyone together in the community. Some of the pupils were a bit shy when it came to being interviewed, with a few exceptions. I didn't finish uh, my speech. Oh, you didn't finish your speech. Do, do continue. OK. Yeah. Is this actually a radio? Yes, yes, yes. Really? Oh, yes. It's it's famous. How can you doubt it's that? It's your phone. It's, no, um, it's a... It's a it's a microphone, for goodness sake. Am I actually? Does, does, suck on it? does that look like a phone to you, eh? Oh, it's it. got one button on it. Yes. One eagle-eyed pupil spotted that there was a black sock on top of the microphone. Why, you ask? I didn't have a windshield, and it was a windy day, so I had to use one of my socks 
to suppress any breathing sounds, wind noises, squeals and booming effects which may have distorted the sound of the recordings. I didn't think anyone would notice and, in my defence, if I hadn't have used the sock, all the interviews would have sounded something like this. So, I think it was a fine example of an intrepid radio reporter using their initiative. But anyway, this interrogation went on. Am I actually on the radio? You're not actually going out live, no, this oh. is all being pre-recorded, but it will be put so out. Is it real? Your mum will hear you. She'd make a good reporter. I had presumed that the summer fair was exclusively just for the pupils of the school and their parents and guardians. But Debbie Tustin, a teaching assistant for the year six pupils, told me that anyone was allowed to attend. We're trying to get the community involved more, so obviously our letters go out to the children at this school, but absolutely anybody can come along, the more the merrier. Sue Coleman, the executive support manager for the academy, said it had been a good turnout. Considering that the beginning of the, the summer fair was raining um, and it was quite dull, the weather's cleared up for us um, and it's been quite a good turnout. And will there be one next year? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Hopefully bigger and even better. If you want to find out more about the Daintree and Southbrook Learning Village, you can check out the Academy School's website, which is at www.dslv.org.uk.